friends, welcome back to my channel. This is Astha here. So today in this video, we are going to make a math quiz in Play Lab. Okay. So now let me tell you, Play Lab is something similar to the Sprite Lab, but there are a little bit changes in the blocks and we will not be able to, you know, have the costume option that we can upload our own image. Okay. So now let me just uh, start with today's video. So let's begin. So firstly, we are going to have a cave. Let's have the background as city. Okay, let's see. Perfect. Okay. So now I am going to have a very good. Okay, so let's take it. It's not a variable at all. Okay, so it's a set score to zero. Now we are going to take a set actor. So I think you will be remembering that in the sprite lab we are having the sprite that create new sprite and all. But in this we are having a actor one, actor two like this, and we are having the images here. Okay, let's take a saucer girl. Let's see, that's pretty cool. Okay, now let's have the position of that saucer girl. So move, not here, not this block. So let me tell you, you have to go to the actions, then you have to take, wait a minute. I have taken a row one. Okay. So let me take the block. Okay, so here we have gotten the block. So let me do have the position as move back to one to hundred over four hundred down. Okay, so let's keep this block side. Okay, so now firstly we are going to have some of the blocks so let me see that block where is that block okay so yeah you have to go to the variables then you have to rename this variable and then you have to write so i'm going to i'm going to write number one that is in a short form n1 okay so let's take a random integer so we are going to take this block from the maths okay so let's have it from 2 to 8 that it is going to you know put uh, you can take the we will take a random numbers to the 1 to 8 so let's also change second number now let me make a copy and I will delete this random num integer and then I will rename this sprite or uh, sorry rename this variable and then I will write a1 that is nothing but answer one okay so let's take out the multiplication block from the maths okay so I will take select this multiplication block then I will delete these two blocks and then I will go to the variables and I will take n1 multiplied by n2 okay so now let's take a active one say which block I have keep it side so I get this block from the actions okay so now when actor say, so let's keep this block on your hand side. So let's see, let's take out the join block and let's take this here. Let's make it copy, two times copy and then let's put it here. All right. So in the first one we are going to write what is okay then in the second when i will delete this uh, string then i will take a what i will take any guess 
I will take a n one that is number one. Then in the second string, I'm going to write multiplied. multiplied by and then I'm going to have the number two that is n2 okay so I have taken this block now it is you know this block is looking so funny okay <laughs> so okay let's move on to the next block that is ask Okay. All right. So let's stick out. Let's write in the string first. Enter your answer. Okay. So I've been putting the enter your answer. Then we are going to take a if block. I just forgot to tell you that we are going to use a new block in this play lab. That is if block. Uh, by the way, we are using all the blocks new, but it is you know the main function is in the if block. Okay, so let's stick out this if block from the from the math logic. Yeah, from the logic we are taking this block. So now first of all, we are going to go to the variables. Then we are having this already a block that is answer if it is not there. So you must have to create that okay variable. So I will go to the variables and then I will take a answer one. Here it is. Okay, so I'm going to uh, take another block. Show title screen. This is our old one block that is also in the sprite lab if the answer is correct then it is going to show excellent okay it's going to show excellent you are right you are right okay so now then i'm going to take another block Let's see where is that block. Let's see. Can you get that from the logic? I can't. Okay, can you get from the functions? I can't. Okay, so here we get it. In the very sorry, in the game and score, we will be able to get this score point. Now, let's have a sound also. Without sound, our quiz is you know something okay. So, we are going to take a we are going to take a play head sound from the actions. Let's choose a sound, let's take a wind. Can you hear that? Okay, let's. It's not good. Well, point. Okay. So now let's copy it without wasting our time. So I'll put it here. Now answer one is not equal. So you have to write here. Oops. Oops. And then we are going to write wrong answer wrong answer so we are going to play a sound that is loose okay let's see only loose point this one is good i think loose point good let's also see any other sound Okay, we are not having any other good sound. Okay, no issue. So, and one more thing, we are also going to remove point. Okay, let's see. So, now here is 7 multiplied by 8. Okay. 
7 multiplied by 8, 56. Let's submit the answer. Excellent, you are right. Okay. So now we are having a score here. Now, if I'm going to, uh, so here is 1 multiplied by 6. If I write here 5, so let's see what is going to happen. So it's the wrong answer. Okay. So that's why we didn't, you know, the score is minus 1. Okay. So now, that's it for today's video. Let's rename this project as Nats Quiz. Okay. Let's save it. And if you want to share it, click on the share option, then copy this link and you can paste it. So, that's it for today's video, guys. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, so give it a big thumbs up. And if you have not subscribed my channel, do subscribe my channel. Below this video, you will get the button of subscription. So, thank you so much for watching. If you have not joined my Telegram group, go and join me in my Telegram group. And you can also share me this project link on my Telegram group. And I will give a big shout out to those papers. So, thank you guys. Bye-bye.